Hello, good morning. It's Thursday the 26th. I'm FX Blue and this is the Market Brief. So, Sunak's been on. Um, he delivered some pretty bleak statistics to Parliament yesterday. Um, according to his data, uh, the economy won't recover back to pre-pandemic levels before Q4. But that's Q4 2022. And then the employment, the unemployment rather, will peak at around 7.5% in Q2 next year. That means 2.5, 2.6 million people will be out of work. So, what's he going to do about all that then? Well, he's going to invest. He's got £4 billion that will go to areas that have missed out on funding in the past. Maybe there's hope for my pension fund after all. Um, and then the restart scheme will get another three billion pounds uh, to help find about a million jobs for the unemployed. Um, all that money means that government debt uh, is set to peak at about 385 billion pounds. So there's little doubt that tax hikes will follow in due course because uh, in order to maintain the current debt to GDP ratio, uh, there's a hole of about £30 billion that will need to be filled um, either by tax or spending cuts or a combination of the two. Um, but despite that outlook, Sterling rallied to a high of 133.95 against the dollar, which is where we open today. Surely we'll see 134 breached in today's session, don't you think? Um, over in the US, it's Thanksgiving. Um, it looks uh, a lot more likely that it'll be celebrated via Zoom than in person this year. Uh, but despite a lot less travel, uh, data has shown that consumer spending is holding up pretty well. Uh, we saw that rise for the sixth month in a row yesterday, and that, of course, bodes pretty well ahead of Black Friday tomorrow. Um, we also had the Fed minutes out. That contained no real surprises. Um, and all in all, it was a pretty quiet day as the market drifted towards the holiday weekend. Um, with Brexit, is the EU getting a bit twitchy about no deal? Uh, we've had a few comments or accusations breaking the silence this week. Um, we had the French foreign minister. He suggested that uh, the UK negotiators were perhaps dragging their feet or uh, traîner le pied, if, uh, if Google translates to be believed. Quel français. Um, but he's also saying that their efforts in many sensitive areas remain insufficient. Um, meanwhile, the Irish PM said there's still time to get a good trade deal done. Um, but Ursula von der Leyen piped up to say that their preparations for no deal are now pretty advanced. But if we put all that to one side, wider sentiment is still that a deal remains likely and the market has indeed continued to price this in. But make no mistake, we'll be in December on Tuesday, so time is running out for both sides. Um, Euro dollar continued to, uh, to approach 120. Yesterday we saw 119.30 as the high, and that is again where we opened this morning. So who's up for a side bet? 119.50 before the weekend? Let me know. Join me again tomorrow. All the best. If you do not have a clue, then just tweet through and ask FX Blue.